Hello, my name is Nastasio Ciprian and I'm data analyst at Business Technology Provider. In this skill pill, we will work with constant line and reference line in Tableau. For these examples, I will use Superstore dataset and orders table. I will create a graphic with sales at month level an area chart and I'll just put it on month so now we can see that we have the sales for each month but would be easier for me to understand in which months we sell more than our target so an easy way to do that is to add a constant line we can see that we can uh, put it on month but in this case we will want to see at sales level and I will add here our value so let's say I will put 60 60,000 and now we can see we can easily identify in which month we sell more than we propose okay we could also add another constant line let's say with 40,000 and now we can see that here are here in this interval are our every sales in this month we will could say that we are on average but also we can change this value by editing the reference line from the sales axe so let's say if I want to go lower I will put 30 and now it's already modified okay so if you if we have a fixed target we can easily use a constant line for the average the reference line is more recommended so let's say I will drag and drop reference line on sales and we can see that is by default set on average and the options are on the value that we, on which is calculated our average is on sales but by with a parameter we can change that despite it's not used in this graph we can change the reference line we could also change if you want to see an average or we want to see another option and you let you you can see on the graphic that on the line it uh, writes average but it, we could show the value of the average or we can customize it and we can show our text with also with our value and now we can see that we have we have it both we have both of them also we can show only the line or we can show the line and the confidence interval for our users to understand how rel reliable the line is we also have formatting options so we can easily change the color of our line for our users to see it easier to see it better and other options are to split the reference line for each segregation in this case I don't have one so I'll just add segment on the column and now we can see that we have our average per entire, ta per entire table per entire graphic but I will just edit the reference line for our average okay and now I can see that I can select per pane or per cell and we have three reference lines with our average per each segment okay also we have we can select a band between our intervals we can select these intervals for this band to mark easier exactly the values that interest us or a distribution band 
where also we can select the values for our distribution band or also we can show it in a box plot okay this was the skill pill for today if you have any questions please contact us